Hey folks, um, just wanted to make a video on uh, this job that we're doing. Um, interesting, like we had no work for a while, or little work at work, and all of a sudden we're just loaded. And this is what we have to do. It's a lot of grooves. They're quarter inch plates, stainless steel. I mean, there's just so many. Like, j just these, 34 of these. They're all a little bit different. But yeah, basically the same, 34 of these. Uh, these are a little bit shorter. I'm gonna do these on the CNC. And these are all longer. I mean, there's just a ton of them. So, this is what we're making. A couple of vacuum tables. One short one, and a long one. Yeah, um, we already had a vacuum table right here. This big guy, but it's obviously too large. Too large to go into there, into our planer. So, I had to make something a little bit smaller. This is out of a C channel right here, and we're just welding ribs. Uh, we're gonna bolt down our table, three bolts for the big guy, two bolts for the small one. The small one's gonna go on the CNC. Um, we'll do what we can there with end mills, ordered a ton of end mills. Um, here's uh, a, dropped, a tapped 3 quarter 10 from that side, just a lifting, and we're going to screw in an eye bolt or something. Yeah, so I machined this side right here. This is probably where a fence is going to go. Probably have to drill tap right here, put a fence there or something um, to bump your part into. Um, yeah, next step, have to, I'm gonna have to mill all this down, make this, 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 all the same height, okay? After that, I have to flip it over and Machine the bottom, make it flat first, and then make the grooves, you know, for the for the seals. And yeah, the vacuum. I think I think when when we're gonna use one at a time, the vacuum is gonna go on the end. And if we if we want to connect these together, we made little ports right here. Could put a um, a hose here and connect it to here and they should both be vacuumized if that's a word <laughs> oh, very nice. Thank you. Five thousand.
All right, well that's going on. I have this thing right here set up in my CNC. It's not my CNC, it's the shops. Um, just like that. I put a ton of grooves here because uh, we have a bunch of small parts and they're all a little bit different, so. Yep. Got a little release valve right there. Got that valve. And there it is. You just have to make a bunch of these, some small ones. I like to make some plugs right here made out of rubber because th there are already holes in them. They're uh, water jet, I think. So, yeah, it's working well. I'm actually pretty impressed how long an engine will last in one of these stainless things. I thought I was going to have to use like two end mills, but, but it's working out better than I thought. If you want to see the program, uh, let's see. Here's the program. Running it pretty slow. Using an M97. Loop it ten times. And there it is. the whole program.